short disclaimer, I'm like fighting over cold since I landed in Toronto like a week ago. So I'm, I'm, I'm walking advertisement for Tylenol right now. It's, it's magic. Uh, so yeah, my, my name is Maciej, I work at Parity. Uh, so at Parity we have, uh, we have a kind of a problem that we actually build a lot of things and occasionally what happens is someone comes to us and like pitches on the idea, hey, and one of the ideas that comes to us is like, hey, wouldn't it be cool if there was an app that could turn your phone into a hardware wallet and you could do that, like, use like QR codes to communicate back and forth uh, with like signed transactions. And occasionally when that happens, we, we do have an answer that comes, something that sounds like something like this, yes. It would be cool. We've already built it last year. Which then follows naturally in another question. Like, well, that's how it looks like now. Uh, so it's an app store. It's on Android uh, phone, phones as well. Um, you can just look it up, Paris Signer. It's there. You can use it. And it's a React Native app. I also know it. All the... All the crypto cryptography is written in Rust, so it's pulled directly from the party Ethereum client. Uh, so all the cryptography is audited. The UI is not audited. I'll talk about more about it later. So the app is completely offline. It doesn't connect to the internet at all. It needs no data. The only means of communication it has is by using the camera and the QR codes. The private key is never exposed. And of course, as everything we, almost everything we do is open source GPLv3. Uh, so you can look it up in GitHub, check it out, check out the code. Uh, and I guess I can try to do the demo now, because it didn't work before. Uh, so I, have, I have high DPI, so it looks a bit weird. It should be a single row. But So can you appreciate this? This is 2018. I plugged my computer to a projector with a webcam on, on Linux, and it works. So I have my account. I'll try to unlock it. There we go. And I am a Coven. OK. So I have like 40 to Coven here. I will just make a transaction to myself. Place the address. Send like one common ether. Send a transaction. And what happens now? Oh, this might be interesting because of the resolution. Maybe you can do like... Does someone want to be an oracle to like check that the thing on my phone is the same thing? We trust you. Okay, well yeah, so... All the transaction details that I can see on the phone, like the QR code is, is basically a RLP encoded transaction, so the same thing you would send over, over the network sends the signature. So the app just decrypts or the, the decodes the, the transaction. I can see the nonce, gas, how much ether from which account to which account. So I can sign it. There is a, there's a pin that I don't have right now because it's common. And I get a QR code with a signature. So what I should do now, if I can find my, there we go. Can click scan, and I scan the signature, hopefully. There we go. Send it, and let's see. Either scan, obviously, and it's pending. One ether. Should be pretty fast because common should be pretty fast. Or maybe not. <laughs> oh, there we go. So, so yeah. Uh, so ideally, you would get like a cheap Android phone, uh, download the app, turn the phone in flight mode forever, then create an account on it and you have a hardware wallet. That's roughly, roughly the idea. Uh, let's go back here. Cool. So 
why doesn't anyone know about it, right? It's been out for like almost a year. Uh, so we are, we are a like, core infrastructure company, and you know, why indeed? Uh, so if you go to party wallet UI, you'll see this magic tile when you try to create an account, and there's like kind of a pictogram of a phone and external account, and says something about QR codes. There's no reference to the app anywhere in the UI. Like, why, <laughs> right? Uh, so UX could have been better. Uh, so let's fix it and let's try to spread the word. So uh, we're thinking about like, okay, what what can we do? To, like maybe make this like method of signing transactions more popular because it seems like a useful thing. Uh, and my crypto kind of came a thing because uh, my crypto is a yeah, you know, popular entry level wallet. Um, it actually solves their problems as well as ours. And nice, nice thing for me is like, okay, they actually did a full like re uh, refresh of the code or rewrite of the code, uh, and it's all TypeScript and React. So it's like, okay, I like type systems and I know React. So it's actually quite easy for me to just, you know, open a pull request. So what happened? Uh, February, I made a GitHub issue. I just asked like, hey, you have this thing. Do you want it? And they kind of want it. Like you can see the thumbs up and stuff. Uh, so a bit, bit later, I finally opened a pull request. And April, April 6th, finally got merged. So that's the signer in the UI. You've seen it already. Uh, we also have Wiki. We have documentation. Yay! You can, people can check how this works and can read how it works. And they don't have to like believe us. Um, uh, the, the wiki is both for the uh, for the my crypto and the wiki is also for the Polity wallet, uh, so people can actually understand what this magical external account tile means. And yeah, that's that's status quo for for right now. So we're also like trying to do some more things. So you have a new branding. You have this amazing icon. If you go to the app store right now, that's you will see this. Key, which is actually like a free icon that Marek, I, I believe, found somewhere. Uh, so we have a designer now, uh, Brennan, and who did this nice, I nice icons. They are basically like the party logo, but a bit, bit different. They look a bit nicer when they are small. And that's roughly how the UI is going to look uh, when, when we were done refreshing it. Uh, so yeah, a bit, bit nicer. Uh, scanner. Uh, and some things we want to add. So we want to add we cannot really show actual transactions because, again, the, the app is offline, but we, got, we can at least show you what you have signed and when. Uh, seems like a pretty straightforward feature. Another thing we actually found out, so the app at the moment just shows you accounts. There is no reference to networks. And one thing we found out is that it's actually not obvious to people that you can just use the same private key on every like Ethereum-like network. So you, the same private key that works on Kovan works on Robston works on mainnet and everywhere else. Uh, but that's like a strong assumption that you have to make that people know that. And usually people actually don't know that. So if we go, OK, we can like just force people, force on quote, um, to, to choose networks when they create an account so that they can at least know that this account actually belongs to a network. And we can also get some extra safety where if you scan a transaction that's not for the network for this account, this account is for, we can at least warn you or block that, uh, you know, block that thing in the UI. And last but not least, you can see that like all, on all the screenshots, there is this like security in the in the top. Um, so since the app is just an app on the phone, we want to also like inform the users of how it should be used. So if your phone is online, so just have Wi-Fi or you know your 4G or whatever. You should have an insecure or online written in red on the top, so that you know this is not the ideal scenario. The ideal scenario is the phone is offline, you have no access to the internet, and and that's you know that's that's how you want to store your, your private key. Um, so that's roughly it. Uh, another thing that I, I want to do is also I want to write an ERC uh, proposal for the actual format we're using for the QR codes, so that you know maybe someone else wants to replicate it. Uh, but we want to first finish this thing and, and um, see if there's any features, so if we are missing anything with, with the data we are transferring on the QR codes. And yeah, that's really quick. That's roughly it.
So first, con congrats on the app. I think it's it's a very useful idea. Yeah, thanks. Uh, uh, I have a, a, a little like I I know I even use one in my in my presentation, but I, I really don't like your code, right? It, I'm not a big fan of your code. I always think that they they, they are ugly, and I I wonder have you given any any thought that what other options you you have because to communicate between two like two highly connected devices that is not via like just the camera, maybe. Yeah, well, um, like the, the thing with QR codes is like it's, 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 it's the easiest thing to do probably as, you know, between like different platforms. Um, like we can probably like use different like barcodes or something, but that's, I don't think that's necessarily an, an improvement, right? Um, so yeah, I don't know if there's like anything else. Like we, we could try to use like I don't know Bluetooth for something, but then it's like harder to integrate in the web or scenario. Okay. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I, I think there's like more like surface for for like solutions for this problem, like where you know uh, uh, the thing like Rich is doing with uh, uh, Wallet Connect, right? That's kind of similar area. The, like the wallet is online, but it's you know kind of solves similar problems. Yeah, you, you do not have this. So the so the the seeds right now they are priority seeds, and the way the the way the party is seeding the the private key is that it's it's a one way operation. It's not a BAP thirty nine uh, thing where you can like extract the, the seed from the private key. Uh, it's like this the seed is like hashed like sixteen thousand times plus some pseudo number random number. Um, so yeah, there's no way to like extract um, the the seed phrase from, from the key. What we could possibly do is uh, provide you with a way to get the BAP39 uh, phrase. Uh, and you also like, want to have a recovery phrase, or recovery mechanism, <coughs> like not just party phrase, but BAP39, and maybe just also just private key. And what, what's the reason why you do a different seed? Uh, that's a good question. I, I, f I think the reason is mostly like, just historical. I think the, the, the party seed phrase was meant to Make it somehow usable for for brain wallets. Uh, so like the the BAP39 is basically fixed. Like you have to fix. Well, there's fixed set of words and there's fixed number of words you need. The party phrase is basically anything because it just hashes it multiple times. Uh, but I think by now everyone kind of realizes it's not necessarily the best idea to to do it this way because you know humans are very bad entropy generators. Uh, so we should just relate to to what were uh, is being generated. So. The, I don't think there's a good answer for that other than just le le legacy, right? Okay. And one last one. <clears throat> when you, you, have, you want to support multiple networks, how yeah. do, you, do you want to encode, let's say there is a QR code for someone to pay something, mm -hmm. that in this moment you can, you can read it and interpret it? Or is it yeah. some... Okay. Yeah, so, but, uh, so it automatically detects to avoid that you send it with your wrong... Private keys yeah. to the yes. wrong network. So, 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 so again, the, 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 transac the transaction is an entire ROP encoded transaction, and which includes the chain ID. Uh, so, like to you know prevent like replay attacks for on different networks, like <coughs> chain ID is already included in the transaction. Um, so, right now we are not doing it because there is no in the UI there is no like differentiation between, between networks. But once you once we are able to accept a network <coughs> per account, then you know, when you try to sign a, something with a private key you've created for mainnet for, you know, Robston, then you should at least get, like, some, some sort of warning that, hey, hey, this account is not created for this thing. Do you want, like, add it or do you want, like, not sign it? Yeah, we, we should talk because we have done something similar okay. with multi-network things. So maybe before we converge further, let's sure, sure. talk. Cool.